Hey, what's up guys? My name is David Glenn for the ProAudioFiles.com and DavidGlennRecording.com, home of the free VIP mix training bundle. If you haven't done so yet, go check out my website, DavidGlennRecording.com. Jump on the mailing list. You're going to get two sets of multi-tracks, uh, a couple of different video courses, free video courses, some impulse responses, and a ton of more content to hit your email uh, just for signing up. So if you haven't done so, go check that out. The topic of this tutorial is how to pinch a kick and uh, maybe somewhat controversial, so use at your own risk, but uh, uh, I've got a, a session here where I was mixing away and I thought, you know, I don't really like the kick that I was given and I really love the kick in the reference track, so rather than go through my sample library and find something that's close or similar and, you know, do my thing, I was like, why don't I just pinch it? So I went to the track, I, uh, I stole the kick, and I'm gonna show you how to, uh, to clean it up a little bit so that it works better in your mixing. Uh, let me go ahead and I'll play you a little snippet. I'm mixing this song for a buddy on a really tight time crunch. And um, actually it was due 15 minutes ago, so I'm gonna hurry up with this tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna play you a snippet with uh, his original kick, and then I'll show you my kick pinch. Okay, and then now I'm going to play it with his kick, but then I'm going to switch to uh, my kick pinch here. Okay, to my ear, to my taste, way better. I think it fits the track excellent, and uh, so I'm rocking with that, but... Uh, irregardless of if you like that or not, I'm going to show you the technique and what I did. I've got this track that uh, the client referenced. It's called This Is Living from uh, Hillsong Young and Free. It features Lecrae. And uh, all I did was I heard at the beginning they had these kicks kind of hanging out loose like so. Come on. That's too easy, right? So anyways, you could just uh, tab to transient, copy that, create a new stereo track, drop down where are we at here and uh, and paste that bad boy kind of slide it over make it bigger we can look at it real close let's just hear that kick let's route it correctly for the recording of this video and let's check this out okay snares are tougher but with this kick there's a really easy thing that we can do to get that swelling high frequency synthy um, transitional effect whatever you want to call it out of the way so we've got the right amount of low end we've got a really great transient here and uh it fits the song so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first add just a little bit of a fade and then i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to click just behind the transient of the kick just behind the attack and i'm going to select from there right well then i'm going to go in pro tools to my audio suite and uh, forgive me, this may be different depending upon your DAW. I'm not sure the process for uh, for you other guys. But Pro Tools, we have Audio Suite, so that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to delete that band. And all I want is a high cut, low pass filter. I'm going to go to like 1, 150, somewhere in there. Maybe tighten up that cue a little bit. And uh, I'm just going to process this. Okay. Now we've got a two separate clips. So I'm going to go in and add a fade something like that nice tight fade and now let's take a listen it's magic right so here one more time is before any of it and then after <laughs> it's that easy so uh high passing you get to um hold on to the sustain of the kick and uh, you get to have all the extra love that comes with that. So without doing that trick, you'd have to cut the kick and fade it out and it'd be a little bit chopped and weird. But uh, anyway, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna consolidate that and then I'm gonna give it a name. We'll call it um, HS Kick Pinch, Kick Without the C. And uh, I already have done this, but uh, anyways, okay. So I'm gonna rename it. And then what I do in Pro Tools, Command Shift K, I will export that to the folder. I'll go ahead and show you where I put it. I've got my trigger two folder with all of my different sample libraries and uh, shout out to the guys at that sound 
got all their stuff and then i've got a folder here called dgr pinches and so i go in there and there's that kick hs kick pinch and uh, then what i did for this track is i use trigger from slate and uh drag and drop that in and then i did a little bit of manipulation this the the song that i pinched it from is a slower tempo so the low end can sustain and it's okay in between beats but for this one i wanted to tighten it up so i just went to the sustain and the release here on view curves so if you're at the mixer view go to view curves go sustain and release right there and uh, pull those back to taste usually somewhere between 10 and 20 uh works really well to tighten those up so faster tempo song and uh, the kick went from this. Let's go out here to this. Kind of fits the EDM dance vibe of this particular song. So there you have it. The only other thing to note is uh, I, I mentioned this in a Facebook post. The uh, uh, the stereo bus for me usually I boost low end and I boost top end, and there's some harmonic excitement and stuff that uh, I'll use for top-down mixing. I'll have that on from the beginning. Depending upon the song, I may or may not use it, but for the most part, I use it. Well, this kick we pulled from a stereo master that was treated its way. Well, pulling it in, if I've got low-end boosted and top-end boosted on my two bus, then now I'm gonna have more low-end in this kick and more top-end. So what I do is I pulled in an EQ, just kind of tweaked the taste. It looks like a spaghetti mess, but pulled back a couple dB of, of the lows, a little bit of the top. Uh, the click was kind of weird, so I pulled that back, and uh, if you guys know or have followed me for any amount of time, I used the uh, Slate Revival and now Custom Lift on my 2-Bus just a little bit to give it some love, and uh, so there were some mid-range differences, but a little bit of EQ love goes a long way, and uh, if I come out here and hit play, let's see how I did. Okay, there's my pinch, and then here's the original. Pretty similar. I tweaked it to fit within the context of this song, and uh, there you go. So, sounds pretty cool. I hope you dig that, how to pinch a kick. Don't forget to check out the free bundle at davidglennrecording.com, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.